Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is on the blacksmithing quest. In Battleon, in the Yogurs, and you're going to be talking to Yogur, and you're going to be finding blacksmithing at the very bottom, and the first quest available before you get access to the actual blacksmith area is you need to do the Chill Rend and Flame Brand quest. We get to jump over to the magic shop, talk to him, and we need these things, so we're heading to the Arkin Grove Forest. Getting the amount of kills you need in this area doesn't take very long, and there is an arrow that points to the closest enemy that you need to kill. So that's actually a really, it makes it actually pretty easy. Now the drops are in RNG. It doesn't drop 100% when you kill the required enemy, which is fine because it does give a little bit of RNG flavor to it. So it's not much of a problem. There we go. We'll head back and turn that in. Now we've got to go to the world tree. If you don't have access to the world tree, then you can go into your adventures menu and in the world areas, you should have access to the world tree through there. You'll need to take out some of the elements in this location. The arrow will be pointing to where you need to go. And these guys can be dropped really easily. So this one doesn't take too long to do again this is an rng based this does not drop 100 percent but like i said i kind of enjoy that and there we go now we're gonna head back and turn that in next we get to go back to yogurt's and defeat Certion, so we've got to go to the lower fire field. This guy has 41,000 HP, so this is a bit of a tricky fight. Make sure to take out the lava blobs, or globs, I should say, when they spawn back, because otherwise they're just going to make this even more difficult than it needs to be. Bringing some health potions would be definitely advisable. When you beat that, turn that in. And next, we're going to be heading to Frostvale. And this is another difficult fight because this guy here is 41,000 HP. So you're going to have to be really movie on this one as well. Because this is also going to be one of those lengthy fights. Avoiding his attacks and just going to town. There we go. Now we're going to be heading back to Yogurt's Inn. And there. Now we have access to the Cosmic Cutter. This is the new quest line right here. And you also have access to the Forge. And this is the weapons that you have in here. Now these are level 30. And then you have a level 32, and then you have a level 36, currently the best weapon in the game. I mean, look at the stats compared to mine. I'm, I've only got like level 26 gear on, I think, something like that. At this point, I'll jump over to my main account, and let's get starting with this next one. So now we're going to be doing the Fallen Star. At this point, we're going to be heading to the Yokai Forest, which they have the travel button right there. Perfect. And we're going to be talking to Yogur in here. Talk to Yogur. We're not alone. We're not. Dun, dun, dun. We've got the Xenoscythe drones in here. This goes beyond material for the weapon smithing. A new Apex Predator. <gasps> Uh-oh. This is not good. Introduces us into a new area. Well, sort of. I mean, it's a new new map in a sense. Same map, but got to take down 10 of these drones. And there's also, look at the size of this mother that appeared. Drops on here are kind of low. These guys hit really hard too. Completed that quest. Turn that in. 
And these alien creatures are more from rather formidable. Yes, they are. It seems the comet and the ore of the comet are resistant to the acid, which is in their blood. Sample of the drone. Okay, now we need to get a sample of their blood. There, got the sample. It's just a random luck. Little bit of RNG on that one. Slay the queen. Okay. With a group of people, this isn't too hard to take her down, apparently. She's pretty easily dropped. Oh, and there we go. And we got a drop. The alien sword. Let's see what this looks like. Slay the queen. Done. Talk to Yogger. All right. Oh, travel to Yonger's Inn. Oh, I see. So we can just talk to him. Go back to Yonger's Inn. And... The space rock contained two materials first. We will need five comet chunks to create the handle and then a special ore. The cosmic ore. And you get yourself a new weapon. Not to mention you help out stop the invasion. Very cool. There we go. Completed that quest and then now you need to go after this thing which we need five cosmic ore and then the comet weapon handle now to get the comet weapon handle you need comet chunks which you get from that boss so this is going to be rather tricky to get the chill rend and flame brand you're going to be needing the flame brand and the chill rend and the shard of frost born so to get the chill rend you need the shard of frost as well as the elemental weapon handle then you've got this thing right here which requires the elementium ore each thing here tells you what it needs so for instance if you need this thing here for the flame or the chill rend it tells you to create it i'll need elementium ore which you can find from the mad elemental spirits and each item each thing tells you where you can obtain these things so the shards of flame are found from this guy right here easier said than done to get it each individual thing tells you exactly where you can find these items so you don't have to run all over the place trying to figure out where to go so the comet weapon handles can be forged using five of the things which are dropped from the monster so i guess even the other the regular drones drop that as well and then you need the comet chunks, the cosmic ore, which is only found from the queen. So the comet chunks are found from any of those xenocytes, but the other one is only found from the queen. So you'd be fighting both of those, and eventually you will get what you need in order to get this and this. So I'm looking forward to grinding this out. <laughs> But that is how you get the Cosmic Cutter and the Chillrend Flame Brand, since you need to do that quest line first before you get access to this. So I hope this video helps you guys out there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.